Hi, beloved one, it's Karuna here. And you're having a tough time right now, aren't you? It's okay, it's okay. The experience you're having right now is valid. If you're angry, it's okay to be angry. If you're super, super sad, it's okay to be really, really sad. If you're depressed, if you feel overwhelmed by your world, it's understandable. Can you take a breath with me? Just take, a, it's a big breath. Big breath, belly breathing. But I invite you, if you possibly can, just to sit down with me right now, just with me, be with me, be with our community here. We understand. Everyone on this channel understands. Yeah, go ahead. Do a big belly breath again. If your mind feels super, super hot, super heated, it's okay. We understand that feeling where the mind feels sometimes like it just wants to explode. Okay. Yeah, belly breath. We know that it's a challenge in our world to be an empath, to be compassionate, to be loving. We know what it feels like to go out into our world, to see people speaking in such harsh tones with one another, or perhaps at us. We know how heart-wrenching that is. Is it low communication? Yeah, it is. Can we do better? Yeah. And that's what we're doing right here together. Our world's confused. There are plenty of people who place materialism over love. <sighs> Is that a faulty setup? Yeah, that's gonna end up in suffering. It's a recipe for crazy making. Uh-huh, it is. And guess what? Those of us who can see it, <sighs> we're not the crazy ones. Sanity is connection. Sanity is inclusivity. Sanity is valuing community. Sanity is having each other's backs. <sighs> Sanity is speaking kindly toward one another, especially those with whom we spend the most time. Family doesn't give you carte blanche to treat each other poorly, uh-uh, uh-uh. It's hard to be in the world sometimes. It's really hard. You see the greed. You see the suffering. We know how hurtful it is for ego to meet ego and right to meet wrong and the endless banter that goes on of people trying to prove themselves right. We know the world weariness, the residues, the buildup, hearing unkind words over and over. There's a weariness that's built into that. <sighs> Take another breath. <sighs> okay, if you're still pacing, you think you can sit down with me now, with our community here? I have something very important to share right now, and this is for you. You're here right now, it's for you. I'm hoping you can take an even bigger breath, an even longer exhale, and exhale out that weariness. Take a moment to be here and to listen. I'm going to invite you to a truth, and it's about you. You are a blessing to your world by you simply being you. How does that work? You're kind. You literally wouldn't hurt a fly. You have compassion for others. Do you know that these qualities that you hold are a blessing for your world, to your world? Do you know how that happens? 
because the replication of greed, manipulation, dominance, it can't move through you. It gets nowhere. It can't go on with the compassionate ones, with the ones who have a heart as wide as the world. That's you. By you being you, you are a blessing. You contribute. You make a difference. That is the truth. You don't replicate that density onward. Do you know how amazing that is? It stops with you. We find ourselves here together. <sighs> yeah, people are confused. It's not easy to remain open, to have a heart as wide as the world here. It's not. But it is your Sva Dharma. It is your individual alignment. It's your destiny. What is big enough, infinite enough, to hold all these emotions we feel? The sadness, the anger, the fear, the joys, the frustrations, the elation, the only field large enough to hold all of it. It's a silent space. For a moment, sit in silence with me, with all of us in this community. I invite you to silence. Right now, I'm transmitting silence an open space where you can rest. You can rest the weariness, the confusion, the residues of faulty messages we've received, where you can rest in truth with a capital T, silence. Do you know we convey more in silence than we could ever convey through our words. Silence. It will take all of it. All the burdens. Every one of them. All the doubt. Even for a half second, silence. Did you hear that little breath? That was my dog. He let out a big sigh. <sighs> Silence. It's the infinite field that will take all of it. <sighs> By touching this silence, we start to inevitably gain an inner strength that will allow us to be in our world for longer periods of time without becoming exhausted and burdened. It's called resilience. And we slowly, surely, inevitably gain resilience. We do this by touching silence, by gathering on this channel. by the keeping of good company through books, through music, through hobbies, through people, the keeping of good company, being with other lovers of truth, lovers of the one big heart. Next time this happens, come to this silent space, even for a half second and say, and this too. I'm so devoted to consciousness that I say, and this too. I offer my burdens to you and this too. Yeah. I'm sending all my love and support to you as are all the lovers of truth right here in this community. It's where we gather. It's where we remember. I'll see you very soon.